Good morning, it's uh, Leo Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading session, the 3rd of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we have a bloodbath uh, basically in Europe this morning, led by uh, US markets yesterday, certainly falling around 3%, getting hammered. The Dow down was down more than 600 points at one time until we had a late stage rally. So whether that rally lasts is a different question altogether. But from my perspective, it certainly won't. That's my interpretation. We certainly are looking to potentially move lower there. So keep an eye on that. OK, so again, S&P down, Nasdaq down as well. Uh, it's the trade uh, of words it certainly continues with regards to uh, Mr. Jeff Bezos and Mr. Trump uh, also concerns, obviously, with regards to Facebook, regarding Uber as well, given the uh, April Fool's joke that Mr. Musk certainly tweeted. Uh, certainly, uh, obviously, uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why the, the US market's down. And the main reason, obviously, was given the fact that the Chinese certainly retaliated with their own measures of three, three billion uh, in terms of food, agriculture, etc., uh, in terms of this ongoing trade war. So, again, that's risk negative. Certainly seems like the trade war concerns certainly are escalating and now there's talk of a potential tech tax versus China as well going forward. So it looks, it looks like the situation isn't being um, uh, uh, basically diffused. Certainly seems to be increasing. The Chinese have said that they are going to be preparing further retaliatory measures. And we all know Mr. Trump, he's a bit of an idiot. Uh, and really it looks like he wants to play a game of chicken. He has no idea what the end result will be. So it's really it's just like poker basically. Um, although he doesn't really have much of a poker face, he's more of an idiot, idiot so idiot face. So, anyway, that's it. certainly a state of today's call. Uh, I think you already know my opinion regarding Trump and his um, imbecile government. Uh, I mean, every week there's somebody being sacked or somebody being overthrown. It's just a, a little dictator dictatorship, really. That's all it literally is. Um, bunch of communists, extremists, radicals, terrorists. Call them what you want. They're just extremists, basically. Um, really, it's just a matter of time before Trump's so-called uh, uh, we see a government uh, certainly collapses. So I did forecast six months before his impeachment, but looks like it's going to take longer. So certainly wrong on that on that perspective. Anyway, anyway, that's uh, that certainly is the uh, situation there with regards to Trump, and it certainly seems like this trade war that he started certainly will be his undoing. Okay, uh, now in terms of the markets, then uh, in terms. Uh, of the technical picture, we all know the uh, fundamentals, folks, certainly is bearish, given the uh, Chinese certainly are retaliating now, and therefore that's going to hurt global growth going forward. Okay, so watch out for a potential, well, for, for further weakness, basically. Okay, so the German DAX <clears throat> hit a pivot high last week of around 12,150, and obviously we're down quite sharply, down 200 points. Now the next potential support is seen at 11,850 and then 11,790, so watch out below on the German DAX 60 minute chart even though we've obviously flushed and we are weak we are still looking to potentially put a higher low in either we put in a higher low or we actually hold the pivot, pivot low at 12 11 780 around 11 780 and 11 730 so we'll certainly watch out below on the German DAX the daily chart at the moment still lower lows lower highs so either we can hold this potential double bottom or we can potentially go move move lower and obviously make a new low so keep an eye out for that again the nasdaq certainly is influenced by the nasdaq if we see further weakness in the nasdaq then i think we all know which way the dax is going as well okay in terms of french cac <clears throat> looking at the daily chart first and foremost okay again we've held that potential pivot low we closed the gap here around the 5030 zone we've certainly bounced ever since uh, bear in mind we do have a gap here Okay, that we need to close, and we've got a gap here as well that needs to close. So watch out for those gaps, gap fill, gap fill, and then gap as well. So again, looking at double bottom support around this 5050 zone, and looking to potentially bounce as well. Uh, looking at the chart here as well, you've put a double bottom in again. Technically speaking, you should be looking for a higher low. Now, whether that higher low is holding at 50% or whether we go down to 61 and 75, certainly is debatable. So we put in a higher high. Now we look for a higher low. Now where will that how a higher low come in? That's the question, okay? We need US equities to stabilize for that higher low to be set. Okay, so we close the gap there around the um, uh, 5130 zone. We've retested previous resistance equals support. We've held the 200 MA, okay? So bear that in mind. Okay, you've got horizontal support down here at 5090. Okay, if that cracks, then obviously we're going back down to 5040. So just depends how much the US equities fall, really. That's what it basically hinges on. FTSE 100, the daily chart, you still have this uh, falling, contracting wedge type pattern. 
We're putting a pivot top around 7112 and then reverse quite sharply today. Bearish engulfing candle quite heavy as well. 60 minute chart, we are back into that FIB 61% support, looking to potentially bounce from here. And potentially we could even retest that 6950 zone as well. So are we holding this higher low at 6995? That's the question. And then do we push higher to higher highs? So watch out for that. 10 minute chart of the FTSE again, you're holding support around the uh, 6,990 zone. Okay, uh, if that cracks, then you are looking to move lower back down to 6,930. So watch out there. You've left an unfilled gap above at 7,050. Given the fact that US equities were absolutely clobbered yesterday by more than 3%, the FTSE is only down so far by around what 40 points, if that. Okay, that's impressive. The FTSE should technically be down more than 100 points, really, but the FTSE certainly is holding its own. This morning's UK data as well certainly did come in and to help the FTSE to a large extent as well. UK data was generally positive, but European data was certainly weaker. Manufacturing PMIs from Europe, France and Germany, certainly on the weaker side, but the UK certainly surprised with a stronger reading at 55.1. So again, that certainly is helping uh, potential FTSE to short squeeze around this region at 7,000. So that psychological level certainly is holding for now, but I'm expecting that to close back down to 6.930. So watch out below there, folks, okay? Okay, so I think that's the status quo, really. I think it's just a wait-and-see approach with regards to the rest. Uh, in terms of the rest of the indices, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal for the latest trading app. Goodbye now.